In order to get the perfect template and fit, there are two key points, a quality fit and making sure the job is template ready. Before the job can start, the template surveyor will need clear instructions. The worktop material colour, thickness and edge detail will be double checked at the templating stage, along with worktop overhangs, positioning for cutouts and the overall layout. And there must be someone on site who can sign off the work. It's important to note that heavily veined solid surface worktops are unlikely to match veins across joints. Create a safe working environment ready for templating, removing any potential hazards, any temporary sinks, hobs or worktops. Make sure there's adequate lighting and mains power for templating and installation. It's important the walls don't change after templating, with the floors finished and protected. There must be a clear view to the wall, without any backboards, tiles or other obstructions. To create the perfect base for the worktops, check that all the cabinets are level, fixed in place, square and aligned, including the corner posts. Ensure end panels on the base are fixed and level. Don't fit them to the walls if the design features a splashback or cladding. For islands with breakfast overhangs, stick to the two-thirds rule, with a maximum unsupported overhang of 300mm for quartz and 30mm thick slab tech and a maximum of 200mm unsupported overhang for 20mm thick slab tech. Before the worktops can be fitted, all advisory and essential work such as plumbing, electrical or any other necessary preparations must be completed. Make sure that all sinks, taps and appliances such as range cookers are on site along with their instructions so we can take direct measurements if required. If the range cooker isn't on site, provide an extra 10mm between the decor panels for templating. A disclaimer may be required. Belfast sinks and inset sinks must be on site, as manufacturer's measurements can't be used for these types of sinks. Ensure any undermounted ceramic or composite sinks are installed securely in a cradle before templating. Taps and their instructions should also be on site and check the tap levers don't clash with any backboards or upstands. If there are any other cuts needed out of the worktops, such as pop-up sockets or downdraft extractors, the products must be on site along with the installation manuals. Ensure cabinets that house integrated appliances are installed correctly. If the splashback butts up to the appliance, the extractor can be fitted. If the splashback is behind the appliance, create the holes and fixing points for the extractor ducting, then remove it. Wall sockets should be clearly marked and cables pulled through, and ensure all the boxing for the pipes is completed before the template. Remove all the wall decor panels for refitting after the backboards and splashbacks have been installed. Remove any under cabinet lighting and remove the light pelmets. The distance required from the manufacturer's manual is the cutout to the next vertical surface, not the wall. This applies to all hob types. If your customer is providing their own sink or hob, the appliances must be on site for the template, along with the instructions. Manufacturer's measurements can only be used for Howden supplied appliances, and product SKU codes will be required. We will work hard to accommodate any issues, but we can only wait up to 30 minutes at a template appointment while any issues are resolved. For more information, visit howdens.com or your local depot.